Service Award Certificate that was ordered to Brandon Murdoch for your commitment, dedication, selflessness, loyalty, and contributions to the City of Mar and the Mar Fire Department. Thank you for all of your hard work, March 14, 2023. Thank you. All right, this time I'll turn the program over to Deputy Chief Moss. Okay, so at this point it is uh, it's my distinct honor and privilege to be able to present Brandon with his certificate of promotion. Um, so 
Before I do that, I want to spend just a minute to explain how we get here, how someone achieves lieutenant uh, inside the fire department. First of all, uh, as Chief mentioned, you have to be a certified firefighter three, which is uh, close to about 200 hours of extra training above and beyond our normal training that someone would go to and get certified in. So once you receive the, the certification of firefighter three, you're eligible for promotion to lieutenant. Once the announcement is made for lieutenant and people apply, then they are sent through an assessment center. Uh, pretty stressful piece, as uh, Brandon told me the other day on our meeting. <laughs> he said it is a very stressful piece. In that assessment center, they are sent through a series of exercises uh, where they will handle daily problems that we may uh, deal with over on the fire station side. Then they, after they finish that exercise, they'll report to a room where they're in front of uh, three members that are chosen from other departments to assess them and grade them on how they handle emergency scenes. So they go through several different emergency scene scenarios to handle issues with that. Uh, following that, they have to teach class and to those same assessors and they get graded on all of that. Past that, when they get back, uh, we, we give them a little break after that one, and when they get back, they come interview with the chiefs. Uh, after the interviews with the chiefs and we grade those, then Chief Swint has a very extensive um, Excel spreadsheet, it's very long, very big Excel spreadsheet, and he will go back in, he will go through each of their last three annual evaluations, and he adds grades in from their evaluations, and then any extra certifications that they may have that are not necessarily on that career matrix, but that are all included in and they will get points and that results in their final promotional score. Um, so to get here, is, this is not a rank that is given, it is a rank that is earned with a lot of, lot of work and Brandon has definitely put in the work since he has been here. He hit the ground running, uh, made us very proud, has done a lot to, to get where he is. So it's a huge achievement um, to get to this rank and we certainly appreciate all the work that he put into this. So, if you'll step up now. I'll present him with his certificate of uh, promotion for lieutenant. It's Brandon Murdoch has successfully completed and demonstrated all requirements set forth by the City of Morrow Fire Department for the position of fire lieutenant. Thank you for your outstanding commitment to the City of Morrow and to the community for which you serve. Presented on this 14th day of March, 2023, Roger Schwent, Fire Chief. <laughs> Now I'll turn the program over to Chief Piper. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to invite his uh, mother up uh, to pin on his lieutenant's badge, uh, and including all of the, the things that uh, Chief Maltz just mentioned. But he is uh, very well deserved and earned.
Excellent. I'm going to get a picture of us first. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that's better. You up here? Yeah. No, I want to hear this one. Oh. He wants fish. We'll get him to talk to you. Smile. I don't show teeth like that. <laughs> there it is. Smile. You got to give him a smile.
Next, we've got approval of the city manager's recommendation for a number of board appointments. And we're going to take a block. So we will appoint Doc Lou, who lives over on Brookwood, to the URA board and oversee. Joyce Bean, long time with the city and board. Joanna Lamar to the DEA board of OPC. Joyce Bean, long time city employee, 30 years, uh, and was the planning and zoning director here for a long time. Um, it is my pleasure to recommend her to the planning and zoning board of OPC. Tran Tian, uh, not only a resident of the city of Long, but a business owner in the city of Long, to the MCTA board of OPC, and to Ralph Sanchez, also a resident of the city of Long. Business owner in the city to the URA board of the city and to authorize the mayor to execute any documents prior to the appointment. Those have been stated. Do I hear a motion to approve? So Do I hear a second? Second. Motion properly seconded. All those in favor say aye. Mr. Croft? Aye. Ms. Steele? Aye. Ms. Knight? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Congratulations for the motion. City Manager. I just wanted to introduce a couple new employees. If you ladies don't want to stand it up. Um, we have Miss Jasmine Montgomery, who is our new uh, code enforcement officer, quality of life code enforcement officer. So, uh, we don't have a card yet, so we decided we'd introduce her now so y'all can't bother and call. But I know that lady's got your number already. <laughs> so um, do welcome her. She comes from us. She's certified, uh, worked at uh, five years in law enforcement. Um, she worked at South at uh, South Fulton Police Department before she came over here, so we're proud to, proud to have her. And Miss Crystal Whitaker, who you all may have seen, um, she's filling in for Miss Kimberly, who left and went to the tax assessor's office. So she's over at the at the uh, Mara Event Center, and we're very happy to have her. You may have seen her at the uh, Black History Event where she was doing podcasts, and can't help this, but she is from the great state of Arkansas as well, oh. so I might have helped her. <laughs> Get her. But no. <laughs> we're very pleased to have her here. Uh, both of these these ladies, we are, we're just excited. We think we're going to see some great things, so give us a minute while she gets in the saddle with code enforcement, and if y'all want to go see her tomorrow, soon if she's ready to go, I think she's got the whole system down by now, right? <laughs> okay, they started Monday, so uh, but let's give them a big hand. Thank you. Today for lunch, the Good Shepherd Clinic uh, held a fundraiser, and as part of that fundraiser, you, you had to like decorate your own table. Um, and so Miss Lott um, decorated the table for the city of Mark uh, and did a phenomenal job. And uh, they're still handing out the, uh, oh. the, the goodies as we speak. Um, yeah, um, the good news is that when they handed me that, I was a little nervous. And, um, but, but we have chocolate and, and uh, other things. Um, so thank you, Ms. Lamb. Uh, you uh, did a phenomenal job and there were some pictures. And we nearly won third place, but we got robbed by Lake City because somehow they messed right. it up. I don't know what happened, but yes. we'll demand That's because they didn't take your votes. That's why. That's right. <laughs> but for, for those who don't know, the Good Shepherd Clinic pages. is over beside the Baptist Church. has been there for a while. Um, they provide health care services for those who need them, um, and, and they're, they're phenomenal. It's a, it's a great organization, and we're happy to be supported with it. Um, comments from the audience? Uh, that's all. Call, call well, on this. You know, um, we're, I'm glad that on our boards and, and everything we're moving, so change is good. We're going, we're progressing, so welcome to the URA, and uh, I think everything is going great. Joyce is, is a wonderful, wonderful move, so, and happy for for our new lieutenant. He's he's great. Wonderful. Thank you. Any comments? Any comments from the council? Uh, Miss Dean. No comment. Miss Nutt. No comment. And Mr. Clark. I'm uh, that too. Uh, 
say congratulations to uh, other new um, member of our board and also Brandon. Congratulations. Well, one point of information for um, Mr. Liu. Mr. Liu is going to be the youngest appointee that we have appointed in a while. He works for the Georgia Department of Transportation. And uh, I think he's like. Don't put me on the spot. I suit's older than he is. But, but he can talk carpenters' plans better than me, so. The FEMA plaque. Oh, we got a big plaque from FEMA. We need to hand something out good from It's over there. I don't know what we do. Give to Brandon? Uh, actually, this is actually pretty good. You're paying flood insurance. Um, Some people didn't know. We'll, we'll, we'll actually uh, give you that plaque because we've got to post it some. Um, that was just Baker reminding me he didn't want it in his office. <laughs> <laughs> I already got one in my office. Kind of one. <laughs> That's probably because there's strings attached. <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of strings attached. <laughs> Let's see if we can get somebody to get you a photograph. But I see. Nobody wants to take a picture of that. Not that far. <laughs> 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 you, you ever see those uh, commercials, you know, where they say that, uh, isn't it Geico that can save you 10%? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Perfect. You just did better than yep. workshop half. Yep. yep. We'll beat Geico. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.